Hello everybody. Welcome to day 73. Um, just wanted to make a video. I think I always start off saying that. I want to make a video. But um, yesterday was um, my laser session number four. And I, um, I was looking, you know, the temptation, if you've not had laser treatment, and of course if you, if you had had laser treatment, um, first of all, everyone's going to be different, right? Because my skin is going to be different from your skin. Your skin is going to be different from my skin. You know what I mean? It's like we're all different. We have biological differences. So um, how my skin reacts is going to be different than yours, probably. But that said, um, I'm trying something different this time. This is my fourth time doing it. Um, previously, I would get the laser treatment done, and then the following day, I would shave, you know, and do my makeup and whatever. And um, by like that afternoon, um, all my pores would be clogged, you know, and then I would have ingrown hairs for the next two or three days you know and it, it's not to be gross but i mean you know you, you like you 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 shave and then you sweat or whatnot your pores get clogged with dirt or whatever and then you get ingrown hairs so in the past when i would do it i mean it would be like it looked like someone had planted you know seeds and for days i mean i'm sitting there with ingrown hairs so what I did this time, as an experiment, is um, I shaved before I went to the laser yesterday. And now I'm just letting my skin heal. I'm not, you know, again, when you take the razor and you do your skin, you're roughing it up. And so my skin with the laser, it kind of dries out a little bit. And like I said, for three or four days after I do laser, I have this you know, really dry skin and it kind of gets icky. So, um, I'm making a compromise with having the little beard and the other thing that's really weird or I find weird about when you do the laser is like you, and I'm not an expert by any means, but you know, you would think that you go to the laser, you you know, you shave before you go. I have to shave like right before I go. And so the laser, you know, does the thing that it does, shines a laser, it heats up the little thing, it's supposed to cook it, a little root, and then it's done. Well, my hairs like continue to grow even though they've been zapped. Okay. So it's like again, and I again I don't know, I'm not a I'm not a doctor, you know, or dermatologist or biologist or whatnot, but it's like for a couple days after my laser, you know, the hairs are still growing. And I realized that the hair follicle is in different stages. You know what I mean? Like you have, let's say in a square inch, you have a thousand hairs. And they're in different stages. Some of them are dormant. Some of them are active. Uh, you know, the potential is there. So when you get zapped, it's only effective against certain hairs in a certain stage. And so, like, you know, there's hairs that are asleep that haven't, you know, that, yes, they got radiated. Maybe some of them are going to die. Some of them are going to survive. So, I mean, it, that's why it's such a, it's such a crapshoot, you know, and, that's why they say, you know, it's about 15% effective. Um, anyway, that all said, so it's kind of weird. Like I said, this time I'm trying something a little different. So for a couple days, I'm going to have the gray. And then again, I noticed with me, it takes about 12 days for whatever got zapped that's no longer alive, even though it might be wiggling a little hair, that little pod, that little circle to like pop out and then it's gone, right? Knock on wood, never to return. <laughs> um, so it's really kind of weird. It's like you, you go and you get zapped and then for two weeks you still have hair. 
And then, you know, as you reach that, for me, like I said, it's about day 12, it's all gone, you know? So we'll see, you know, we'll, we'll look back and compare, I guess, but. Um, so I wanted to just kind of record that. That's my experience with it. It's very, very tempting to take the tweezers for me and you'll see the little, you know, you, you zap the hair and the little follicle comes out and it's like, and so you want to take the tweezer and pull it out, you know, and um, the uh, technician told me not to do that because sometimes you can hurt, you can damage the skin, you can pull part of the skin with it. And again, I don't mean to be gross, but, you know, if you're going to go through this process, you're going to experience it for yourself. Um, but like I said, you, you get excited and you're like, oh, well, the hairs are dead. I'm going to help them out, you know. And, you know, it's very easy to... Um, sit here for an hour and just pluck out hairs and you're like how many hairs do I how many hairs do I have this is crazy and um, back when I was in Gainesville um, when I did this the first time about 20 years ago um, the um, I was doing electrolysis okay but there was a kit that came out, it was, I think it was called IGIA, IGIA, and it was the home electrolysis kit. It was like a pair of, looked like um, the tweezers that you, have, when you play the game Operation, you know, it was a pair of tweezers covered in, they had plastic with metal tips and a wire. And I went to this, um, like, box, and you would sit there and plug it in and you would look in the mirror and you'd pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, you know, now, that was very, very different than when you do the electrolysis, and it, it's like two little needles, or a needle that gets inserted, and then the, the she hits the button with the foot, and it, it zaps and pulls the hair out, very different, but anyway, um, so, but I, what I was saying was about the Aegea was, you know, it would kind of work in a way. You know, it was the do-it-yourself. And man, I can remember just hours. I even did it like, um, I made it a routine every night uh, at six o'clock when the news came on. I would watch, um, you know, I'd watch the news and I would sit there and do it. And I mean, it was like, you know, two weeks cleared my whole face and then the next time it only took a week, you know, I mean, they would get progressively easier, but obviously the hairs grow back in time, you know, hence why I'm doing the laser now, some 20 years later, but, um, anyway, so that's that, uh, day 73, um, very tired today, but that's, it's very hot, and I, um, mowed the lawn, um, today is also the first day that my daughter is going over to my ex-wife's um spend the day at the apartment um so it's like i have some alone time which is kind of a first you know i mean it's it's a new experience so i'm kind of dealing with that um feel those feelings um the other thing i'm doing is um i was going through um i found a children's book it's an old book um from 1933 <laughs> and uh, I've been reading it, you know, it's, it's um, it, all the things you're familiar with, um, Mother Bruce, um, it's got some stuff in there from the Iliad and the Odyssey, but um, anyway, it's been kind of neat to read it, and then I, you know, read a passage, and then I listen to it back, I record it on my phone, and then I listen to it back and see how I sound. Um, and that's kind of my goal is to get into, um, you know, part of the, the terrible voice lesson. We're terrible training. Um, I'm still doing my family's drills and my ba ba ba's and my twinkle twinkle little star, but I'm also reading little passages, listening to it, taking a break, making sure I have my coffee or my tea or whatnot. So. Anyway, short of it is, day 73, things are moving, things are happening, um, trying to be positive, 
and I'm looking forward to just kind of having the afternoon to myself. So, uh, you know, life goes on. So, all right. Bye, everybody. Good luck. Till next time.